Hey guys, it's Jules here. I just finished filming this crazy rainbow EDC makeup tutorial um, where I teach you how to do, you know, the crazy rainbow eyes as well as apply these jewels and this cool blue lipstick. Um, so if you're interested in learning how to do this makeup tutorial for a festival that you're going to soon or if you're going to be at the racetrack for EDC in a couple of days tomorrow, <laughs> then go ahead and keep watching. Alright, so for the sake of time and effort, I um, already did my face, just did a little bit of foundation using um, this, the Estee Lauder Double Wear, and also starting off with that Urban Decay um, Prep Spray in the B6. <clears throat> so I just wanted to do like a full matte face. Uh, I was breaking out a little bit, I'm sure you can tell around my chin because it just, you know, got it all waxed. So let's just get started off with this tutorial. Um, pretty much, you can use whatever colors you want as long as you're going to have, you know, a wide range. This is the BH88 color palette. Um, I use this every single year for every single festival, every parade, everything. It's great. It's cheap. I love it. All right, so we're definitely going to start off with that Urban Decay Primer Potion on the lids. We're going to need a lot of primer for this. This is just an Eden. I like this one just because it's, you know... A matte color that way you know we're gonna put the um, the white milk over it the matte just helps correct any color in your eyelid make sure it doesn't show through I always like to bring it down a little bit underneath but I don't think you know matters too much because we're gonna put the milk on there all right then this is the most important step of this entire tutorial. If you don't have NYX Milk, try and find something similar. I think I have in my collection, um, you know, just these random like white ones that I found over the year when I couldn't find NYX Milk. Um, but you definitely need some type of white primer to go underneath. That way this is really going to make the colors pop. If not, it's just going to look muddy and gross. So definitely hit that NYX primer all over the lid. And everywhere where there's going to be color. I usually don't do color all the way up to my brow bone, so we'll just do this. And then just blend it out a little bit on the edge. It doesn't have to be blended out too nicely. Because of course we are going to put color over it. Just you know, smooth those edges a little bit. And the shape really doesn't have to be perfect either. Just make sure that it's pretty opaque. Okay, I'm just gonna do the top first and then put the, the milk on the bottom when we start doing the bottom. And um, that way we don't, you know, let it get too sticky or dry. Alright, so what I like to do for a color scheme, when you're doing the rainbow color scheme, you want to kind of think about, you know, the colors of the rainbow. If, usually for the eyes, it'll be like pink, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So you definitely don't want to have the pink and the purple on the inside. So I usually do, you know, a variety of um, green, blue, purple pink, orange, yellow, so that way you have like the lighter colors on the inside. Um, that's definitely a good idea. Uh, if you wanted to do, you know, yellow, orange, pink on the top, and then the greeny, purpley ones, you guys know the color wheel. Think about it. Choose which one you want on your eye. It's super simple. You can always use also, you know, just a couple colors of the rainbow, but of course, we're here for the rainbow makeup tutorial today. All right, so I'm just going to get started off here. Um, you're just going to need a couple clean brushes and get to work. So I think my first color is going to be this electric green right here. Because it's electric and I'm going to the EDC Electric Daisy Carnival. And just put that right on the inner corner. And since this isn't such a dark color, it won't make your eye look really crazy. I remember last year at EDC, I did a red, white, and blue makeup scheme for my my last day outfit was the American flag, and I totally, whenever I do my makeup, I just totally wing it, um, because I just try and see, you know, like, whatever colors come to me, 
And for some reason, I ignored all my rules of logic and I put my red on the inner corner of my eye, <laughs> like dark red, like this color red on the inner corner of my eye. And as soon as I had put it down, you know, I had already done my entire face makeup. There's no way I was going to restart. So I was like, okay, Julia, you just need to figure it out. You need to somehow make a way to not make the inner corner of your eyes so dark. And I made it work and it looked good. I ended up, you know, putting a ton of like shimmer right here to try and off balance the fact that I had put dark red right on my inner corner. All right. So that looks good for that. And just make sure that you're blending where you put the milk with the color. Okay. Looks good for now. All right, and now we're just gonna take a blue color. You can really use any color blue you'd like. I'm just gonna go in with this one, another neon blue from that NYX palette. And I'm just going to use the other side of that brush that way we can blend them together. And just put that in the middle portion. And then yeah, you can flip that brush and blend that out. And these are all matte colors. Um, I'm not sure if anybody cares, but matte colors definitely look nicer because um, the shimmer, you know, distracts a little bit from the bright colors. Um, but if you are a beginner, matte colors can be a little bit harder to blend. But these BH palette colors, I found are really nice. And honestly, I've been using this palette for probably about three years now. That's why it looks so horrible and beat up. But it's a great palette. Probably costs like $20 tops. I have a different BH palette that was like $12, and it's the similar one. So definitely a good investment if you're into parades, raves, festivals. Any type of crazy makeup event. My favorite events for this exact reason. Okay, now we're just gonna blend that in the middle a little bit. You can always hit it back with a little bit of that green if the blue is coming too far over. The key is to really just play with it. Like I try and tell people, they say like, oh, how do you plan your makeup? Like I was just telling you, I really just wing it. If there seems to be a mistake happening, I just, you know, keep working on it. It's like a painting. You just got to keep putting effort in. And I always end up with makeup that I enjoy. So it seems to work for me. All right, now we're going to hit it with this purple. I'm going to do this one right here. Not super electric of a purple. Oh, and I'm going to go in with this little tapered brush because we're going to do that outside corner. And I like to do, you know, a little bit of a shape and bring it up above that blue just to, you know, make it dramatic. I like this brush because, is this the Urban Decay brush? Oh no, it's the Ulta, Ulta Crease brush. It does look like an Urban Decay brush, if you know what I mean. But yeah, this is like a really stiff, pointed crease brush so it doesn't really blend it just kind of you know puts the makeup exactly where you want it I'm gonna do the same on the other side and this is the part that's really you know it doesn't matter if you go a little too far in or your shape isn't exactly the way you like it because we are going to blend the top of this we just need to put you know the color where we want it Okay. The thing with mattes is they are harder to blend, so keep that in mind. You're just going to have to put in some time to blending, but it will all be worth it in the end. All right, so now we pretty much have the shape and the color of the top. So you can see we have like the greens, the blues, the purples. It just goes pretty much all the way around. But now, so we're going to take a little blending brush, and I'm just going to take this one. Um, no, it's not dirty. It's just, you know, that really cute elf line. I'm all about cheap brushes. I <laughs> haven't bought a nice set of brushes yet, but um, we're going to go in with a light purple. So let's see which light purple that I would like to use. Probably, you can always use like a light pink as well. 
Um, but you want to get something so that we can blend it on top. So I think I'm going to go with the purple. So let's go with this one right here. Like a nice light periwinkle color. And we're just going to take a little bit of that up on our blending brush and blend out the harsh lines over here and underneath. And it blends out super easily. You see how that happens? Oh yeah. Super nice. That versus that. Much better. Now you look like a professional. <laughs> We're going to go in with this super fluffy brush. I like the way that this brush is angled for doing that highlight. It's really great. Um, we're definitely going to need to use a light white highlight to off balance all these crazy colors. So I'm going to be using this top color right here. And I'm just going to put that right under the brow. I'm going to fill in my brows after. I just got them done so they do look a little bit perfect. <laughs> But I do like to darken them in a little bit. It's always good to have a strong brow off putting a really strong eye. And we're going to do a strong lip too. So super excited about that. Alright, so that's pretty much the top of our eye look as you can see. Very nice, very nice. And I am a perfectionist so sometimes I see things that I want to blend out. Alright, now we're going to get started on that bottom portion, so I'm just going to take that same eye pencil in um, NYX Milk. I don't know why I always call it NYX Milk, but it's by NYX in the color Milk. And we're just going to, you know, go underneath our eyelashes with that. It always looks so scary when you first put it on because it's so stark white. The thing that I really like about NYX Milk, like I tried to find a substitute, but this is a matte white pencil. It's so hard to find matte white things these days. But they really do make the difference with the pigmentation and, you know, everything. So what I like to do is like blend this a little bit with the Q-tip. Q-tip is a woman's best friend who needs diamonds when you have Q-tips. I seriously can't go anywhere without Q-tips. They're so great. <laughs> especially traveling, especially to EDC. I forgot my Q-tips one year and it was miserable. I had to go buy some. Alright, so we're just going to take our bottom colors like I was saying. I think that we agreed we were going to do... <laughs> we agreed. I think that we had talked that we were going to do like purpley, pink, orange, yellow down here. Uh, since the top got more green, blue, that like doesn't look super purple so I might incorporate a little bit of like a more ready purple down at the bottom um, so yeah I think I'm gonna start off doing that maybe I'll just skip that instead of red because I really hate using red on my eyes so I think we're gonna substitute using this like reddish purple right here and I'm just going to go in with you know a little fluffy brush and we're just gonna put a little bit of that right on that outer corner there And make sure to just blend it, you know, connect with our general shape of what we're going for here. Usually if you make like a straight line with the end of your eyebrow, that's a good angle trajectory to follow. And now we're just going to go in with a little bit of orange. I think that'll be the best, best next color. I think I'm just going to use some Q-tips for the bottom for the next two colors because, you know, it's... I don't want it to be falling out too hard. So these two oranges from this palette... There is this one and this one. I think I'm going to use the lighter one. Just put a little bit of this on the Q-tip. And blend that right here.
All right, so there's our orange a little bit. You can see how the look is coming together. With this nice rainbow eyes look going on. And then finally we have the yellow, which of course will be this yellow right here. Super bright electric yellow. And I do like to put this um, right on this inner corner right here. But we're also going to put, you know, a highlight color right in this crease. So just blend it in right in this corner. It is super bright still, so it will brighten up the area a little bit. Alright, so that's pretty much how we do the rainbow part of our eyes. And I think that this way flows really better. You don't want to follow like red, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then you have the darkness on the inside. So I think the way that this gets split up looks really nice on the eyes. Alright, so for my eyebrows I use this Chanel um, eyebrow pencil that I stole from my mom <laughs> in the color, I think 30, yeah, just 30. Um, but what I do is I go ahead and I brush my eyebrows. And then I just fill them in lightly. I honestly like don't have a lot of tips for how to fill in your eyebrows if you actually have to draw a shape. Because as you can tell, my eyebrows are pretty well shaped and defined. And really this is all I do is like fill in a little bit at the front. Or like underneath if there's a spot missing. And just, you know fix that color throughout this way it just makes them stand out a little bit more when you have like the strong strong look going on all right so you can already tell that's like a lot better then I just like to blend this part and blend the little color through. Same on this side. Alright, so now we have the eyebrows done, the eye done. And we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of eyeliner on here. Um, I like to use a colored eyeliner even though we already have the color. Um, I usually use, you know, green, blue, or purple. So I'm going to be using the Urban Decay. Um, eyeliner in Sabbath today, which is a dark navy blue. I love Urban Decay. These eyeliners are great, but their packaging is such crap. It always breaks. Like, it's gonna even show you. Like, do you see what I mean? You have to, like, twist it at a certain angle. Every single Urban Decay eyeliner I've had has done this. Well, whatever. We're just gonna go with it. Alright, so just do a thin line, both sides, or you can wing it out if you're wearing fake eyelashes, which I'm not going to do today, but just go ahead and do that. Alright, so something like that will do just fine. Okay, sorry y'all, uh, my camera died a little bit, but um, basically I just finished that eyeliner and I tight lined with some of this gel eyeliner. <clears throat> okay, and we're moving on to the next step. Um, this always takes me super long to do this makeup look, so I'm trying to make this as short as possible. Um, but now we're definitely going to do some of my favorite parts, which is glitter, glitter, glitter. Um, if this is good enough for you, you can go ahead and stop right here, but it's never enough for me, especially not for these festivals. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that you guys can see all this glitter action on point. Alright, so we're just going to put, um, this is kind of a bluey purple glitter from NYX. I'm pretty sure this was like $3, so it's awesome. I just like to put that on top. Honestly, glitter eyeliner is so great. You don't even have to, you know, be super precise. Just get it over exactly where you want, except for if it's chunky. And it really just makes a huge difference. And if I was putting on um, fake eyelashes, I would want to do a thicker eyeliner and of course more glitter. Um, but today, unfortunately, I don't have any fake eyelashes, so 
we'll just have to do without that today. But as you can see, glitter makes everything better. All right, and on the bottom, I like to use a lighter one. This is the purple one from NYX as well. I think these are the liquid crystal liners. And I just like to put that on the outer part where we had that purple. And then my favorite, personally, are these Urban Decay glitters. This one is in Pyrotechnics. I've had it way, way, way too long. Pretty sure they're mostly expired, but <laughs> not buying new ones. Anyways, so I just like to put this white crystally one on the inside of my corner. This is my way of like brightening up the inner corner, EDC style. You know, I put lots of glitter right in that inner corner. You can always extend it along the yellow if you want, like a little bit down here. And that's going to just brighten up your whole eye area, like I'm sure you can already tell. So yeah, this is great. Oh, I love it. And the glitter just takes it to the next level. So awesome. We got to do that. Now I'm just going to pop on some eyeliner, I mean <laughs> eyeliner mascara really quickly to seal off this look. I would usually curl my eyelashes, but I just moved, so I have no idea where my eyelash curler is, unfortunately. Which sucks because I'm leaving for EDC tomorrow, but... Oh, by the way, this is the Buxom Lash. This is the sample from Bare Essentials. This mascara is amazing. Like, I love this mascara. I'm not, like, really one for buying the super expensive mascaras, but this one is definitely... Definitely worth the consideration. Alright, so there we have it with just a little bit of mascara on. Looking good, looking good. Um, now, these next two steps are just a way to, um, you know, take that look one step further. I am just going to pop on a little bit of blush. This is MAC in Pink Swoon. Um, just super bright electric pink blush. Why is that not showing up on camera? There we go. Just going to put a little bit on because I don't want it to look too crazy with all of the bright colors that we have I think that my camera is washing me out a little bit and that makes me a little bit upset but it's okay because we're gonna look great anyways alright so one of my favorite things to do for EDC is to put on some face jewels um, you can just buy the jewels like this from Michaels for like, I don't know, $2.99 I believe it was. And I have a really easy way of putting them on. Um, I usually would use my tweezers. And like I said, I have no idea where my tweezers are. But it's so easy that you can do it without tweezers. Um, so I'll just show you how to do a couple, I guess. I could just show you what I usually do. So I take some eyelash glue and I make four little dots. about equidistant away, four under, four over, and you can kind of tell that's where um, the, the jewels are going to be. I usually pick out some color scheme, but since we're doing rainbow, I don't think it really matters what color scheme we're going to do, um, so I'll just fix them out at random while I let that dry. And then we can just start putting them on. And you can always shift them around once you do them. And don't worry about the glue. Um, it'll be transparent when it dries. It is a little bit easier to do this with tweezers because then the glue doesn't, you know, stick to your fingers, but it's not impossible to do by hand. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. That's just generally a look of like, here, let me move this light a little bit so that we can see a little bit better. 
Um, that's generally the look of what I would do with the face jewels and that just really brings the look, makes it super EDC festival um, parade. I wear this too, you know, we have Gay Pride Parade on June 30th in San Francisco, so I definitely do some type of jewels. Sometimes I'll do it over, sometimes I'll do, you know, all types of crazy stuff, like a line down the middle, but jewels are great. They really just put the edge on your outfit, so we love that. All right, so while we let that dry, it's already getting kind of dry like with the transparency I'm gonna go ahead and show you my new secret that I'm excited to try out for EDC I did get to pick up some of the macaron lippies from NYX if you haven't heard about these you're probably not as crazy as I am um, these are the colored lipsticks as you can tell this one is blue and then my other one is the minty green but I'm going to go ahead and do which color? I think I'm going to do the blue today, and we're going to try this out on our lips. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on. I need to get my mirror way closer. These are so creamy and so pigmented. I'm really excited to try them at EDC. All right, so here you have it, your perfect rainbow EDC makeup tutorial. I know this was super, super long, but honestly, um, this makeup tutorial takes a long time to do. If you wanna look really awesome for EDC or any music festival that you're going to, put a little bit of effort into the makeup and set a little time aside for you to do it and it'll turn out really, really cool, I promise you. Um, even if you're a beginner, I really hope that these steps will help you be able to do this look. Um, it's super fun, it's not as hard as people think, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And once again, zoom in a little bit for that look. All right, thanks so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm hoping to be making a lot more makeup tutorials soon, so if you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments or message me. And once again, thanks so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye.